Greetings and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food and another installment of Candy Corner. Hi Doodle, unfortunately I cannot give you any of this because it's chocolate, which is bad news for you. So I'm, I'm so sorry, I cannot give you any chocolate. I will give you a hug and a, and a pat on the head instead. So, today uh, we're going to do six uh, different uh, chocolates, candies, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I found these were interesting. Some of them are seasonal, some of them are limited time only, so I decided that we would uh, we would try them up front. Um, so uh, I'm just going to kind of introduce them first, and then we'll get into actually eating them and tell you kind of uh, what the story is behind them. So this one I found really, really interesting. So this is Hammond's Chicken and Waffles Bar. So it basically um, has a, a chocolate maple syrup, and it has a chicken soup base mixed in with the chocolate. So it just sounds horrific. Now, what happened was that uh, Marcus Beer posted on Facebook, I believe it was, posted a picture of this. And everyone was saying how disgusting it was. And it was kind of like, yeah, I have to try it. So I asked him where he found it. And he said, Cost Plus World Market, ran out there and uh, was able to get this. So we're gonna do this today. Um, and also we have this uh, Hangry Bar. And the uh, Hangry Bar, I think the company is called Mood Bars, uh, or maybe the Hangry is, no, no, no. Hangry is the, is the type of bar, bar this is. Uh, these are Mood Bars. I'm not sure what the company is, uh, but this is milk chocolate, jalapenos, and pretzels. So that, that sounded really interesting. So we're gonna do that. Uh, then we're gonna do a Reese's. Uh, I didn't even know about this, I hadn't heard about this. And this may be something they do every year, I'm not actually sure, but uh, it's popping up. It is kind of like, uh, not red, but orange and green. So I think it's out for Christmas, uh, although it could be a, a holdover from uh, Halloween. And this is Reese's Big Cup Peanut Brittle. So there's peanut butter inside. And it looks like the one that has the, uh, the, you know, the peanut butter on the outside, it, uh, or the like the peanut butter lovers one. It, it looks like the peanut butter. It doesn't look like white chocolate or uh, milk chocolate, but we'll see when we open that up. Again, didn't know about this, hadn't heard about this, but, uh, but saw this and I picked it up. Uh, this one I also got at Cost Plus World Market, and this is a Nestle Lion Choco Bar. I don't think there's any real lion in here. I'm not sure what uh, what the deal is. Uh, those of you uh, from the UK or the uh, Isles uh, are, are, may be familiar with this. This one is actually from Nestle Ireland, and um, and it's a lion bar. So. Um, you know, maybe it, it, it's supposed to be something else that looks like maybe caramel on the inside or something. Um, so we'll see. Uh, there's a line on there. I don't think there's a line inside. And then last and certainly not least, Kit Kats. I mean, I don't like doing Kit Kats because they never they never really seem to hit the mark on this one. But this is a, obviously a seasonal one. There's a picture of a gingerbread man on there. And these are Kit Kat gingerbread cookie uh, flavored Kit Kats. So I thought we would try that. And again, I believe those are seasonal too. Those will probably be around through Christmas. I can't be absolutely certain. Um, these these three are probably going to be around for a while. Don't know about the Reese's Cup. We don't know about the Kit Kats, but we're going to try. So I think what, uh, let's see. Um, I'm going to do the, the chicken and waffles last, only because I, it's going to have a weird taste and I just don't want it to, to mess up everything else. I think I'm going to go this way, then this, then this. All right, so we're going to start with our uh, Kit Kat. And I think these are the, I don't think they're the full size Kit Kats. I think they're like the individual size ones, like the ones you give out for Halloween. And they are, which is cool, because then you can just only have to eat one. Individually wrap one. Let's go ahead and open this. Almost looks like the pumpkin spice uh, coating them. It smells sort of like gingerbread, but also there's this kind of weird uh, smell as well. Take a bite of this. It has that same that same flavor as the other Kit Kats that, that aren't milk chocolate. It's just sweet, a lot of sugar. It almost tastes it almost tastes like milk chocolate. Now it may very well be 
and the gingerbread might be on the inside. I don't know. I'm gonna try that one. I'm not getting strong gingerbread cookie flavor here. You get a little bit of, you get a little bit of that, that spice, that ginger, and maybe some other spices come in towards, <clears throat> towards the end. That, that milk chocolate, I think, kind of dominates there. I wish they'd gone a little bit more, you know, kicked up the ginger maybe a little bit, or the, that, the crunchy cookie part and deep inside. I'm gonna give that a thumbs in the middle. It's okay. I mean, it, it didn't it didn't redeem Kit Kat for me or anything. It's all right, but I, mean, I just kind of wish, um, you know, it had more ginger uh, gingerbread flavor. Like the Oreos that we did, those definitely had that gingerbread flavor. And this one kind of missed the mark a little bit. So yeah, thumbs in the middle. They aren't terrible, but you know, they don't scream gingerbread cookie at me. All right, let's try the Lion Bar. And again, this is from Nestle in Dublin, Ireland. Although I imagine, you know, they eat these in the UK as well. It looks like maybe peanuts or something in it. You know, kind of crunchy or something. Something crunchy. Um, or like an infected appendage or something. It almost looks like the chocolate part of a Nutty Buddy. Oh, that's caramel. It's like caramel and, and nougat. And then there's a crunchy cookie-like taste there. The caramel flavor is really strong. If you like caramel, you'd love this. I'm not a big fan of caramel. For me, it's okay. I like the crunchiness of it. I like the difference in texture in it. You get that smooth chocolate, little crunchy bits, and that crunchy cookie part of it. So, I'm gonna get past my bias, bios, bias. I'm gonna get past my bias. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. The thing is, I'm not a big fan of caramel, but I admit that, and that's why, you know, I'm not crazy about it. But if you are a big fan of caramel, you're gonna love this. It's delicious, and there's lots of um, texture, different textures in it that make it really interesting. So, so I'm gonna give that a thumbs up. Now let's do the uh, Reese's. And again, I don't know if it's like the peanut butter outside, uh, like the peanut lovers one. Uh, it's that color, it looks like that color, but this is the big cup, and it has peanut brittle in it. They're always putting stuff in the big cup. See, it's that kind of like off-white, you know, that, that not milk chocolate, <clears throat> but not the white chocolate either. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a little bite of the, the top and see if it's a peanut butter flavor. Mm, it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, um, the outer chocolate shell <clears throat> is mixed with peanuts, I think, or peanut butter, and it does give it a peanut butter taste. So that's nice. Now, I can taste crunchy bits of peanut in there, which you'd find in a peanut brittle. But what I was expecting, because this peanut brittle was like a piece, maybe the same size as that, where you have to actually bite into that piece that would be the same size as the, um, what was the Reese's cup itself. So, this is like peanut overload. It's really strong on the peanut. It does have that sugary taste, you know, from the corn syrup that they use to make um, peanut brittle. It does, you do have the big chunks of peanuts that you would have in peanut brittle. You know, and, and that sweetness. That's a thumbs up. Reese's have been doing pretty good, I think. I mean, I don't know why they even bother. At Halloween, they have pumpkin-shaped ones. 
Christmas, the Christmas tree shaped ones, but at the end of the day, they're just Reese's cups. So I'm kind of glad that they're changing up flavors a little bit. We just recently did the big cup with potato chips in it. And um, it's just nice that they have something different. And again, this might not be new. This might be something that a uh, seasonal that they do every year. I just, this is the first time I saw it, was intrigued by it and decided to get it. And now it's gone. That's a thumbs up, that's really good. A lot of peanut flavor in that. Now let's do this one. This one's interesting. The Hangry Bar. The Hangry Mood Bar. Look at that guy. Looks like me when I'm hangry. I don't get hangry. Pretty dull looking bar, if you ask me. Let's just break off a piece of that. Good quality chocolate. It's not like Bombay Hershey's. I'm getting a pretzel in there, but the pretzel's kind of broken up. It's not like, you know, pretzel sticks or big chunks of pretzel. It's really broken up, like, like they took pretzel. You can taste the saltiness of the pretzels and actually get that, you know, a little bit of that saltiness of the pretzels. To me, I, I kind of get the impression that they took a rolling pin to pretzels broke them up into, into large, you know, crumbs. That's kind of what they did. So there's a little bit of texture. Um, you, you definitely get the taste. Um, the jalapeno is sneaky. Let me get that right away. Generally, chilies and chocolate, good combination. But this, I don't know, it seems to me, it's there, it's there. It seems to me they could have gone a little bit, a little bit stronger, I think on the jalapeno. That would have made me happy. We were a little strong on the jalapeno. So you get that burn afterwards. The part of the problem is that, if you remember when we did our Caroline Reaper episode, um, it was basically the test remedies. And the one that worked the best, the remedy that worked the best against the, the, you know, the heat of the pepper was uh, milk chocolate. So what I think is the milk chocolate is really taming that jalapeno, which would be nice if you got the jalapeno flavor, but it's, it's just not there. It's, it's, it seems like when all that chocolate kind of like washes out of your mouth, you get that burn afterwards and everything. It's very, very slight. It's not anything that's like, you know, uncomfortable or anything, you know, it's, it's doable. Um, so good, good flavor chocolate though. Like I like the fact that the pretzels are crumbs more so than than big chunks of crunchy pretzels and everything. I'm gonna go ahead and give that a thumbs up. And and again, that burn does come in afterwards after the milk chocolate is gone. That burn does come in afterwards. Um, it's subtle, it's light, um, and like it's not crazy crazy hot. It's just you 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 can feel it and you know that there's some there's some sort of chili in there. So yeah, I'm gonna give that a thumbs up. Now last last and and maybe least maybe not the Hammond's Chicken and Waffles Bar. And again, this was from Cost Plus World Market, and it was sort of a suggestion by Marcus Beer. It wasn't a suggestion per se, but he posted a picture of it, probably in disgust, and um, I just went crazy and said, I have to have it, so that happened. All right, this is gonna be interesting. See, again, nothing special. It's like a little imprint. There's nothing special on the bar itself. So let's break off a piece. So I'm expecting this is gonna be savory and a little bit salty. Then we should get that maple flavor. There's something, there's something a little crispy in there. Mostly chocolate. Okay. I'm starting to get that savory chickeny flavor. I'm not getting the flavor of chicken, but I'm starting to get that. You know. 
like chicken bouillon flavor. Um, but I don't have, I'm not getting the maple. Where's the maple? Doesn't even smell like maple. Yeah, there's that with salty broth kind of flavor. That's underlying. And it's weird. Because it doesn't taste like a chicken and waffle. It tastes more like like a ch like chicken broth. Without chicken. The maple's really, really subtle. I think they could have kicked the maple up a little bit. Um, and as far as the waffle taste goes, I don't know, maybe a little bits of waffle I think would have been a nice, maybe I, maybe that's the crunchy thing, but it's not like you're getting a flavor of crunchy pieces of, waf of waffle. I don't know, I'm gonna give that a thumbs in the middle. It's not terrible. It's interesting in that that has that, like I said, that savory, salty kind of undertone. Um, not disgusting, um, not great. Um, uh, they need to kick up the maple, the maple flavor and everything. Thumbs in the middle for me, I think, on that. So, I'm gonna rate these. I think, let's see, I think I'm gonna say that the, um, I'm gonna put the Reese's, the Reese's uh, Big Cup with peanut brittle first. Uh, and then second, I think I'm gonna put the Lion Bar. Third, I'm gonna put the uh, Hangry Bar. Um, fourth, I'm gonna do the Hammond Bar. And I know I gave it a thumbs in the middle. I, I don't remember what I gave the Kit Kat. I may have given it a thumbs in the middle. Uh, but the Hammond Bar, I'm rating it higher than the Kit Kat only because it's interesting. It's more interesting than the Kit Kat Bar. So um, so the fact that it's interesting, you know, gives it a higher rating. The Kit Kats, I'm, I'm just gonna say dead last. It's like, yeah, Kit Kat, you missed the boat again. So uh, anyways, I um, only some of these are seasonal. Try to get out and get those. Uh, Cosmos World Market has these. The, the key Reese's you can get at a Kroger store, I believe. Um, yeah, all three of these are from Cost Plus World Market. And the Kit Kat bars, I think, was also from um, our Kroger store. Here. So go out, give those a shot. Maybe you'll have different results than I did. If you do, please leave a comment down below and let me know that you tried these and you got a different result than I did. But, you know, get out there and try it anyways. But when you do, be careful because it's crazy out there. So please take care of yourselves, take care of others, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below. And be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it, and we hope to see you again soon.